Welcome to Electron Line. With this video, we're now going to look at our L circuits, circuits that have resistors and inductors in them. And we want to look at what we would call the step response of such a circuit. Let's say we have a voltage source, we have a resistance, we have an inductor, and we have a switch which closes at t equals zero, which means that before the switch closes, there will not be any current in the circuit. The moment the switch closes, what will be the current in the circuit? When we talk about inductors, it's the current in the circuit that's important because inductors oppose a change in the current, which means that when you first close a the switch, there will not be any current in the circuit, and then the current will increase and reach a steady state value. So to find out what the current in the circuit is, we need to, we need to add the transient portion of the current plus the steady state portion of the current. So the transient current would be the, the current in the circuit for a short period of time until you have steady state current. We add those two together, that will give us the total current in the circuit. The steady state current will be such that the inductor no longer opposes a change in the current because the current stopped changing. At that point, the inductor simply becomes a short circuit and then the current in the circuit is simply de determined by V over R, Ohm's law. So the steady state current will be V over R. But while the circuit is increasing, as soon as you close the switch, the, the, the current will increase. Then you can say that the current in the circuit, the transient portion will be some constant times e to the minus t over tau. That's the general way in which things increase naturally. So what we can then realize is that we may not know what k is, but we do know what tau is. Tau is the time constant for an all LR circuit, and that is defined by the inductance divided by the resistance. So now we're going to try to find the current in the circuit by finding what the constant is equal to. Also, it may be worth noting that if we, can, we add up the voltage around the circuit, we know that the sum of the voltages must add up to zero, so we add up the voltage across the voltage source and subtract the voltage drop across the resistor and the voltage drop across the inductor while the current is changing because it's L times di dt. When di dt goes to zero, this goes to zero and the voltage is simply equal to IR. Okay, so now let's go ahead and find the value for k so we can have the proper equation for the current. So we can say that the current as a function of time is going to be equal to the transient, which is going to be k e to the minus t over tau plus the steady state, which is v over r. Now let's find the current when time is equal to zero. Well, that will be equal to k times e to the zero power, which is one, plus V over R, and if we call this the initial current, we can say, that, well, this is equal to I initial. In other words, K can then be described as the initial current minus V over R. And so this is going to be replacing K in that particular equation. When we do that, or I guess we can also use it to replace that K in that equation, so now we can write that the current as a function of time is going to be equal to k, which is now defined as the function I sub naught minus v over r times e to the minus t over tau. And then we add to that v over r. And typically, this term is written first. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's move over here. We can then say that the current as a function of time in an RL circuit is going to be equal to V over R plus the quantity, the initial current, minus V over R times E to the minus T over tau, where tau is, of course, the time constant of an LR circuit. And this then becomes the equation we're going to be using to solve RL circuits, resistor inductor circuits. Notice that V over R, that would be the steady state current, and then we have plus the initial current minus the steady state current times e to the minus t over tau. And that will give you the current in an LR circuit at any point in time. And that's how it's done.